Good day, everyone. I was born and raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're gonna calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Marcus Martinez claims his date had too much to drink and spilled red wine on his couch. Sarah Armendariz says the plaintiff didn't have an issue with the stains until she refused to hook up with him again. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. You may be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Sean. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Martinez versus Armendariz. Mr. Martinez, you are suing Ms. Armendariz for $2,704.03 because you say she caused damage to your property. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. And Ms. Armendariz, you say you are not responsible for that damage. Is that correct? Absolutely, Your All Honor. All right. Tell the court how the damage happened. You know, I met the defendant last fall through a hookup app, if you will. It's basically where you go to find the love for the night and not necessarily a love of your, of life. your life. Correct. All right, so you're on the hookup app. I am on to the hookup hook app. Up. That is correct, Your Honor. And it hooked you up with Miss Armendariz? <laughs> that is correct. Okay, go ahead. We go out to dinner. She was having a good time. I mean, we were having such a good time. We had a couple of drinks that uh, towards the end of dinner, Your Honor, she was literally begging me to go back to my place. All right, were you begging him, Ms. Armendariz? Were you begging Mr. Martinez to go back to his place? Your Honor, I was begging for him to shut up. So I was, yeah, let's get this over with because I could not stand one more word. I thought when you're on the hookup app, you trying to find somebody you want to hook up with. She looked okay on the pictures, but once she, once I met him and I heard what was coming out of his mouth, oh my God, I got this and I got that and I'm so rich and look at me. I mean, come on, he ain't the big thing. So at dinner, you weren't really into Mr. Martinez. Mm-mm. So how did you get over to his house? Why did you go over to his house? If we get this over with, I shut him up and I use his little body Maybe after the two wine, you know, the two glasses of wine, maybe I, you know, it won't be so bad. So oh, I was like, Lord. you know, the two glasses of wine was this. Good. This Dinner was is good. a lot. So now yeah, we go out was on not dates <laughs> and we just, we're just having sex with people for sport. Why not? I oh. mean, I don't like going to the gym, and I mean, this is this kind of stuff is fun. Okay, so but not you with them anymore. Him to shut up and hook up. Shut up. Let's go to your house, and then I, you know, I was gonna figure out way how to just, you know, get you to business. You just wanted to hit it and quit it. Yeah, it was late already. What was I gonna do? I mean, he was already there. Might as well just whatever. Use him. I mean, oh, your, and your, I'm going. Your Honor, Your Honor. Um, uh, yeah. While at dinner, she was drinking like a Get fish. That's why I want to add that. She was definitely drinking like okay, a fish. Okay, you uh -uh. took her there and you t said she could and have I whatever she, she could, wanted. I, I want to get to the place when the damages happened at your house. Absolutely. So you both admit that you willingly went back to Mr. Martinez's house. Were you intimate at his house? At that point, Your Honor, I decided to go ahead and ask her, hey, are you okay with having another glass of wine? To the you point, sure Your know. Honor, where she was like, <laughs> Because I want you to glass. shut up. And all that, right. And so when we did that, Your Honor, we had all of but two seconds of a conversation before she lost all her marbles because he's and so sexy. jumped all over me. Oh. And we began to hook up. All right. So you all started hooking up on the couch at your house. You gave her another glass of wine, even though you had already observed that she was tipsy. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Armendriz, you do not refute this testimony. 
So I had the two glasses of wine at the restaurant. When we went to his house, I barely had a sip. I didn't want any more, as I said. So with my nylons, I stuck them in his mouth, trying to be sexy. So yeah, we started making out. But here, Mr. Martinez seems to be so upset that I so didn't want to follow up. So what happens that causes the damage? After she jumped all over me. Um, because you're so sexy. Things got really <laughs> intense. <laughs> Things got really intense to where no. she dropped the glass of wine, red wine, mind you, all over my Shirley Wait, White rug and my couch. Wait, you are up and she's got wine in her hand? Oh, and or is me. the wine on the table? Where is the wine? Do you have a picture of the damage that I you left? I do, Your Honor. Let me see that, please. You want so to you gave her red wine, she had it in her hand. No, that is correct. I and did then not you have guys it in my hand. are hooking up, but she's holding the wine while this is happening? Imagine. I, I don't really know whether she was holding it or she put it down. I do know that she knocked it over. No, oh, so she I dropped did. it or she knocked it over? She was it on it the table? Oh, there she is no table. Over. The stain of red wine didn't come out on your couch. It did not, Your Honor. So when the wine spilled, you just kept on hooking up? Absolutely. I was in the heat of the moment. Coming up. I feel she's responsible for paying for that. So. Uh oh, now you bring it up. Well, we brought it up at the same time. Did you say no when he asked you to go out again, Ms. Amendaries? Absolutely. I was not interested in following up on that thing. And later. Did each godmother know that the other one existed? I thought they did. I never Your even. Your Honor. I didn't even give it a How would you even think know. they did? You would have to know that. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. We're back with the case of Marcus Martinez, who is fighting with Sarah Armendariz over red wine stains. There's the stain. After it's over, there's text messages here. That is correct. What happens? So does do you stay overnight, Ms. Armendariz? Absolutely not. Okay, so the hookup happens uh -uh. and then you go home. Yes. How do you talk to her about this damage to your couch? Sir, Your Honor, after a few days, you know, after we hooked up, um, you know, I said, hey, let me go ahead and give her a call. You know, which, let's go out for uh, dinner again. And she said no. Now, no. mind you, Your Honor, not that I care oh, that wait, she said no. Oh, wait, so the no. next day you called to ask her out to dinner again? Well, a few days after. A few days oh, later. You, you didn't call to ask her about the wine? No, not yet. But I was leading mm -hmm. up to it, Your Honor. I was leading up to it. Of and, course you, you know, were. and obviously I was trying to make, you know, a, a casual conversation. I was trying to be nice, say, hey, and okay, then bring it up. Okay, you want to go out on a different uh, a day because you wanted to hook up again. I get that. Yeah. So what happens? So I go ahead and I invite her to dinner, which I was going to bring up the, you know, the couch incident. Obviously, I'm a gentleman. I'm not going to go ahead and say, hey, yeah, you know. Right. But but why this big setup? Because she said no, she didn't want to go out again? Exactly. No. So what ends up happening, Your Honor, is now at this point, I feel she's responsible for paying for that. So. Uh oh, now you bring it up. Well, we brought it up at the same time. Did you say no when he asked you to go out again, Ms. Amendaries? Absolutely. I was not interested in following up on that thing. Did he text you the day after and say, hey, we, you spilled wine on my couch? Look at the pictures. He tried to play it, but I think that because I turned him down, that now he's mad at it, his butt hurt, and he wants me to pay for something that if, if it was to be the case that we, when we were messing around. His butt he, hurts? Yeah. Yeah, he. I mean, he's mad. He his ego got hurt because oh, I don't want to go. Oh, his ego is bruised. Yes. No. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. I was about to say, don't say another word. <laughs> I don't want to hear this testimony today. Okay, Sorry. we're gonna leave it at that. I have some evidence here to Sarah. Okay, clearly we won't be seeing each other again, but I do need you to send me the $2,700 since you stained my couch and my rug. You said, what do these stains have to do with me? And you say, Mr. Martinez, don't play dumb. You spill wine everywhere. And then you said, Ms. Armendariz, well, you didn't seem to think it was a big deal then. I have no memory of doing that. I don't owe you blank. And mm -hmm. you also submitted to the court, Mr. Martinez, a or a receipt from Luxury Flooring and Carpets. That is correct, Your Honor. For $1,107.60. And then also from JP Designs, is this a whole new couch or is this, yes, yeah, a whole that's, new couch? That, that's simply for just the repair, Your Honor. And so to repair the couch? To repair the couch, yes, and to repair the carpet. That red wine When was did not you get it repaired? Out. How many days after the date when, when it got spilled? Uh, I would say about three days 
and then uh, after you asked her out on another date and she said no. Right. So All I right. I've heard enough. Mr. Martinez, this is what happened. You went on the hookup app and y'all hooked up. It was not something Ms. Armendariz wanted to do again. She obviously didn't enjoy it. And so when you asked her out again, she said no. And so therefore, if she would have said yes, you probably weren't going to bring up the carpet because you were going to get what you wanted. You did nothing to remedy the problem, to save your own rug or save your own sofa. Instead, you finished up having a hookup with Ms. Armendariz, still waited more days, didn't tell her anything about it, asked her out again when you got mm -hmm. declined, then decided, oh, and by the way, you owe me for my rug and you owe me for, your, for my carpet. That is creepy. Your Absolutely. Honor, in, in my defense, you know, it, no it defense. took three days because I travel a lot. I'm, I'm a business owner, Your Honor. And so, so you I just left the stain in there and went have, away? I, I okay, didn't let's have just say you're big like not the women. Mr. Martinez, I've heard enough. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. Because guess what? You, there, you have no defense. When you invite people over, it is reasonable to assume that something can happen and something spills on your furniture, on your carpet, somewhere. That's reasonable. You're not telling me that she got mad at you and took the bottle of wine and crashed it down on the floor on purpose or did something malicious or negligent that she should be responsible in some way for this wine. You have not proven that today. The only thing you've proven is you asked her out again, she said no, then you brought up the wine. And that's being a creep. Your Honor, she's yep. clearly so at the end careless. of the day, bad, bad, bad. She's at the careless. end of the day, the next time, and this is a lesson I had to learn, light furniture, light carpet, light color wine. You let the wine sit in there for so long, it probably damaged these pieces of furniture and the floor in ways it did not have to if you would have just done something to remedy it. In this court's opinion, you did not do what you were supposed to do. It's not Ms. Armendariz's fault. Judgment for the defendant. Court is adjourned. All rise. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. You got too much money, go buy another one. And good luck, because now every woman is going to know how pathetic you are, one yeah. brain cell man. Yeah. Or every woman. <laughs> Small <for> hands. I sure. <laughs> think that would be enough. Follow me. Oh, Lord. Coming up. Ms. Lawton says she thought she was your daughter's only godmother. But she says your daughter has another godmother as well. Is that true? So is this about the money, or is it about... No, this is about you answering the question I just asked. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. Carol Lawton claims she gave her friend money for her daughter because she thought she was the child's only godmother. Mona Sad says there's no reason her daughter can't have two godmothers, so she's keeping the cash. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Lawton versus Saad. Ms. Lawton, you are suing Ms. Saad for $1,350 for summer camp fees. You say you paid under false pretense. Is that correct? Yes. And Ms. Saad, you say you don't owe the plaintiff anything and she's being unreasonable. Absolutely, Your Honor. All right. Take me back to how this all started. I had received an email from Mona asking for the godfather, Greg, and for myself to pay half of her daughter's summer astronaut camp. So you're her daughter's godmother? Yes. All right, and how long have you all known each other? We've known each other for about 10 years. All right, so you've been friends or are you family members? We're friends. Continue. I found out about six months ago that supposedly she has another godmother, and I feel like I've been lied to, I feel betrayed and hurt, because I had no idea about this other woman being your godmother, as I've been the one paying for everything. I have receipts, invoices of everything I've Wait spent Wait a minute, now the you years. a godmother, you not the mama. Why are you paying for everything? Well, she had lost her job at one point, so I was giving her money for that. So, Miss Saad, I want to ask you this. Yes, ma'am. Miss Lawton says she thought she was your daughter's only godmother, but she says your daughter has another godmother as well. Is that true? So is this about the money or is it about- No, this is about you answering the question I just asked. Coming up. Giving and giving and giving. It, you can now, have told me that. You don't have to take me to court and, and, and put us in that situation. Well, she lied from the start.
You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. We're back with a dispute between Carol Lawton and her former friend, Mona Sad, over too many godmothers. Are you in a relationship with one godmother and then your child also has another godmother? She always had two. All right, so she always has two. Yes. Did each godmother know that the other one existed? I thought they did. I mean, I never Your even... Your Honor? I didn't even give it a How thought. How would you even think know. they did? You would have to know that. Well, well, she met her in the baby shower, and she asked her why wouldn't she consult the her in the baby I shower. The baby shower I threw for her when I found out she was pregnant. She threw she it by a... choice. Nobody asked you to. Still interrupting. But, but she you didn't were not me. made aware that she was a godmother. No. All right, so Ms. Saad, I want to understand from you. How much did the other godmother contribute to your daughter's upbringing? She buys her stuff. She takes her out. You know, they go places. She takes her to Disneyland. I mean, she is a mother to her. So, I, I mean, again, I'm a little bit confused because... Well, that's what I No, do. no, no. Is there a rule that says she can't have two godmothers? There's not a rule. My son okay. has four godmothers. See, thank wow. you, Your Honor. Here we four. go. But I'm also a believer that godmothers don't raise children. None of his thank godmothers you. fund anything about his life activities, nor are they ever expected to. So this is where I'm at with this. Why is it after all the things you've done, all of these years, why sue over this 1350? Exactly. What is that about? It's just yeah. gotten to the point that I think she needs to step up as a mother and be there for her kid and be able to financially support her. You could have her. told me that. <laughs> after losing my job, I cut her off because Everything, it, I was shocked. I was honestly hurt. And I love her like she's my you own child. You still are. You still are. But it's now to the point Nobody said you're I, not. I'm tired of giving and giving and giving. It, you can now, have told me that. You don't have to take me to court and, and, and put us in that situation. Well, she lied from the start. Judge Lake's verdict when We the People returns. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. You do feel taken advantage of. And to be very clear, if I was in your position, I would feel taken advantage of. But I also would never cut all those checks. However, Ms. Lawton, when you give a gift, right, which is basically what this is, I don't think she had you giving these things under false pretenses because the pretense was, you're her godmother. Can you do this? And you know what? It's up to you to set boundaries and just say, no, I can't. Because ultimately, Miss Saad didn't go to astronaut camp. My goddaughter did, yes. Your goddaughter got God. to go to right. Stop talking, Miss Saad, when I'm actually making a point that benefits you. It's over and done with. The baby went to the camp. You spent way too much money up to this date. But from here on out, Miss Saad and her husband takes care of their own child and you be the godmother, and if she ever comes to you and needs something, that's a private relationship you have with the child. I hope you all work this out as friends, because ultimately you are the child's godmother, even if you're one of two. She expects you to be a part of her village. And don't let this silly disagreement ruin that. Okay. Judgment for yes, the defendant, court is adjourned. All rise. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. We well, are if family. You told me the truth from the start. I didn't None of this lie would have been you. a problem. I didn't lie to you. If you just listened to me, we could have worked it out. Families don't go to court. Families talk and work things out. Well, you I was tired of way. talking and not getting an answer. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.